Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to GOE 21. This is the 23rd annual Modern Energy Conference. The first one was in 1998 at the aptly named Meridian Hotel in Catwick. So we are here with the 23rd conference and I'm that is, by the way, this is my favorite magic number. 23 is the magic number. And I am just delighted that we're here and we are getting together in the virtual worlds and having the opportunity to share really important things that we have discovered throughout the year. Now, the topic of this conference is the miracle expansion and that's one hell of a title you have to have quite a bit of nerve in order to put such a title on a conference or on the other hand you might have learned something that makes that title make perfect sense and really hmm yes guide us in the right direction for the future now i have written a lengthy a lengthy plenary speech with all the details and all the steps and everything. But that's not why I'm here today with you. What I want to do is to connect you and me and everyone who wants to listen to this, to their own personal miracles, to miracles in a personal absolutely 100% true life experience way and thereby opening the door for miracles for us to happen. This is what I want to do during the time that we have here. You can read my amazing <laughs> speech on the GOE <laughs> at any time. But here we are, we're together, we have this opportunity to do something wonderful. I'm going to just broadly outline where I'm coming from with this and what I learned through the practice of Star Matrix in this last year of 2021. I had an enlightenment event, as you do, after listening to so many star stories from people in the courses that we've run and also in asking people about their star events of their lives, the most important things that have ever, ever happened to them. And of course, these most important events are just super, super personal. They happen to this one person and nobody else in the world. And I believe that these star events are the data points that kind of define your life. And that's the star matrix. Your life is made up of these high positive events, these star events. But what I kept hearing time and time again is that people would describe what had happened to them. It was an absolute miracle. It was an absolute miracle. Amazing grace. I once was blind and now I see. You know, I, I just understood things. The whole world unfolded for me, expanded for me, is what people are saying. And so it actually came to pass that I thought, oh my God, what if a miracle is nothing more and nothing less than a star event? What if the star events in our lives are our own personal miracles? And once I said or thought that word miracle, I all of a sudden saw some all sorts of things. It was kind of a, yes, it was an expansion. I saw all these things. I saw that in some places, um, people come from outside with clipboards and they decide what a miracle is and what isn't. And if something is a miracle, then it gets an official stamp. That's a miracle, okay? And um, 
that's it, you know. And that's exactly the opposite to what I found in Star Matrix, is that the people who experienced their own personal miracle, there was just no doubt. There was no doubt. There was a world before, and then there was a world after that starburst event, that star event, that miracle expansion. When I started thinking about it, I also realized something else. One of the first things I was told when I started with mind, body, spirit type healing and hypnosis and guided meditations is that you must never, ever use the word miracle. This word miracle is forbidden, like the word cure, that the moment you say it, a trap door opens or a 60 ton weight falls on your head and you're squashed flat. Don't say that word because you're giving people false hope. You're promising them things, da, 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 da. And I realized just how, how forbidden just the word itself, miracle, is. And how it's been used in all sorts of places where you probably shouldn't be using it. But when you think of a miracle in terms of something that a single person inside themselves, that it has impacted them deeply, profoundly, and literally that they will say, my world was never the same since this happened to me. Now, I can say that with absolute conviction. When I had my enlightenment moment, it wasn't a moment, it was just a, it was two days of just, oh my God, when that happened to me, my world was never the same since. I could never do the things that I was doing before any longer. I, I had to do something else. I had to find out new things. I had to go and learn more. Yeah, you know, there's, there's this whole new world in which I landed. Literally, the whole new world in which I found myself. And that, that is this extraordinary thing with the miracle expansion. First of all, it's just totally personal. It just happens to you, your miracles. They are your miracles. They are your moments when something extraordinary happens inside of you. And that's really important. Inside of you. Something happens inside of you. Now, what happens may be triggered by, you know, a rock falling on your head or watching a comet streak through the sky or seeing this beautiful person and all of a sudden, kaboom, you are, oh my God, I'm in love. This is what that is. Oh my God, now I understand what the poets were talking about. Oh my God. It may be triggered by an outside event, but what actually happens is inside of you. It's your miracle, the miracle inside, the miracle inside and once that happens nobody can take that miracle away from you they can misdirect your attention so you're just thinking about trauma all the time and get caught in that endless labyrinth but they can't take it away from you and so this is what i want to do with us with you today right here right now in the beginning of this GOE conference of 2021 entitled Miracle Expansion, I want to connect you straight back to your own miracles that you have already experienced in this life. So please let us not delay. Join me in the heart position right now. Let's take a deep breath in and out. And what I want you to feel is a tingling sense of excitement starting to build up. And if you'd like to move your body a little, you know, just wriggle your toes a little, uh, just have your liver shimmy a little from left to right, wriggle your ears, 
to let a little bit more energy flow through us and gain that sense of, oh my God, I'm going to meet one of my miracles. And simply, simply ask your dear energy mind right now to remind you of something that has happened in your life that when that happened, your aspect knew it was a miracle. It knew it without a shadow of a doubt. This is, this is a miracle. Oh my God. I want you to take a moment and connect with that aspect who was so astonished astonished beyond astonished that something like this could happen and I would like you to also just slow that down slow down so that you get a real sense of how this aspect all of a sudden could conceive of an expanded world where there was more than there had been before. And I'd like you to step back a little bit from this whole thing. Move away so you get a bit of an overview. And I'd like you to scan and get a sense of how the world was before the miracle happened. The star event. And how your world was afterwards. And by all means, gain a sense of that expansion of your energy system. Now, I would like you to look at that and I would like you to state clearly, yes, that was a miracle. That was a miracle for that aspect it absolutely was a miracle there's no other word for this there's no other word for this this sense of oh my god i could never thought something like this could happen to me i never thought i, I might have heard this has happened to other people but I never thought it could happen to me. Not in a million years. <sighs> and that's really the key to the expansion part of the miracle. So I'd like you to just take that aspect in your arms the one that just went, oh my God, that's just a miracle. Just take them in your arms and just connect with that sense of awe and wonder and gratitude and grace that that aspect experienced when it understood that a miracle had just happened. Oh, dear aspect. You can let the energy of that aspect just become one with you, move through you, find its rightful place behind you where such an aspect should be, to have your back, to strengthen your back with its lived experience of what it is actually like to experience a miracle in your own life in your own incarnation, oh man, <laughs> it's the most wonderful, wonderful thing. And I invite you so wholeheartedly to not just leave it at this, this one time, this one exercise. There have been so many miracles in your life, so many miracles in your life. Oh, let's, let's just find a second miracle. Dear Energy Mind, please remind me of another miracle 
that has happened in my life. Wow. <laughs> Whew. And the same thing, it's like, oh, embrace the aspect who had that moment of, oh my God, this is a miracle. I never thought this could happen to me. I never even knew this existed. And now here it is. And I've just lived it. Take that aspect in your arm. Hold them tight. Hold them to your heart. Thank them. Let them move straight through you and out behind you so they can too be behind you and have your back. And be there. The aspects who have experienced miracles. And let us do one more. A third one. Three is the charm, they say, in magic. And I like to be charming if I can be. Okay. The energy might give me the perfect third aspect for this experience today. Oh man, yes. <laughs> if you need more time, you can press pause. That's the beauty of video presentations. But my one came straight, it just flew straight in on wings of light. And yes, that was a serious miracle, serious miracle. That, oh my God, I can't believe that I, that, that I can be that, do that. See that, think that, feel that, that utter, utter astonishment. This aspect was quite overwhelmed by it. It was an, a miracle they never expected, never asked for, never wanted possibly even. Because they didn't understand it. They didn't understand the magnitude of the gift they had just received. But even so, I will take this aspect to my heart and fold her in my arms. Oh. And simply let her just move through the portal of my heart, straight out my back. And she too can now have my back. Another aspect that has experienced the miracle. And now we have three incidents. Three miracle aspects already at our back. And they are activated because our dear, dear conscious mind needs to know. It needs to know about things like that so it can join the game of life and afterlife or always, always, not just life. It's not life and death, it's life and afterlife. The story continues on unbroken. So... This is absolutely the very first thing I wanted to share with you. The idea that miracles are personal, that we have already experienced miracles, lots of them. And that what the miracle does, or the star event, if I want to call it that, what it does is it expands our worlds. And that's where things become just super interesting. Because in these expanded worlds, there exist possibilities that didn't exist before. It's like the laws of nature change when your world expands. And the fantastic thing is that this is infinite. It's fractal. It will never end. It never ends. So we are now already, as modern energists, living in an expanded world. We have a world with energy. That's a massively expanded world from the world without energy, where, you know, almost everybody in, 
in the Western world is living in this tiny little world that where energy is either not real or it's a Chinese whisper of the ages or it's some sort of a hallucination or party game or virtual reality game that doesn't really do anything. But once the energy expansion has happened, whoosh, we are now in this completely different world. And now there is all this stuff that we can think, that we can do. We can, we can do this thing that's impossible for people before this expansion. We can change our emotions. We can change them by tapping, we can change them by emo, we can change them with supermind, we can change them in every which way from Sunday. And we know why it works, and it works reliably, and we can do this. This is to the um, young Zoomer sitting in their bedrooms with their virtual headsets on, the, the idea that you can change your emotions just like that, it doesn't exist in their world it's not there so they can't do it they can't explore it they can't expand on it they, it's just not there once the energy expansion has happened whoosh the possibility is there the laws of nature have changed no longer the law of nature might be that bereavement is a terrible thing you will never get over it uh, you will suffer for the rest of your life and um, your life is finished Whatever could have been good in your life will never happen now. Um, it's all misery. Those are the laws of nature relating to bereavement in that little tiny world without energy. But when you expand, we have different laws of nature. We discover the immortal beloved, the healed state of bereavement. When instead of pain, thinking about the person who's moved on, we experience a surge of joy and uplifting. We hear the laughter in the wind. It's amazing. Just this one example. Oh, I could talk to you about this for hours. But what is so remarkable is that we can say, all right, we are in a world now the world that we have expanded out into through all our star events. And it's a pretty cool world. There's a lot more going on in this world than there is in the world of the people that you see, generally speaking. You know, they just have no idea, have they, of these wondrous things that we can do and feel and sense and experience. They just have no idea, those poor, poor people. Yeah, and here I want to lay at your heart the idea that we are the poor, poor people. That there is a expansion for us where we can stop being those poor, poor people and become even more joyful, even more empowered, even more practical, even more reality-based. Because, see, I believe that these expansions bring us closer to the real world, the real creative order. The world isn't this small. It isn't a small little thing like that. It's not. And it's not just made of rock. <laughs> you know, imagine these electromagnetic thingies going on the poles and... But then beyond into the energy worlds, the combinations and connections between the planets and the sun and ourselves. And oh my goodness, what a fantastic universe. And we need to grow up and expand out into this awesome universe that becomes ever more awesome and amazing the more we expand. So I don't wish to show any kind of ingratitude to the life right now, the, the world in which I live. It is wonderful. It has come about by these expansions over my entire 62 years on this planet. 
it's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. And it is, you know, many, many times better place to be than for many people who just haven't even had the energy expansion yet. It's a much, much more wonderful place to be. Much more fun, much more excitement, much more energy. And yet I know that the next miracle expansion awaits. It always seems that the last expansion is the final word on every topic. My last sort of really major thing was Star Matrix. And I immediately went and said, this is my legacy project. This is the hill I'm willing to die on. Star Matrix is it. And I love that and I agree. Fine, it's beautiful. It's the latest expansion. But at the same time, I am now aware that new miracles await and that they will cause another expansion where things will be possible that weren't possible where I am right now. And so this is something that I would like you to take away from this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what this is. This speech, this mini workshop, this experience, this plenary, this virtual conference introduction. Well, I want you to take away from this is that the next miracle expansion awaits. There is going to be a next one. It's, it's infinite. I had sort of a moment where I saw that it was totally fractal. It just goes on forever and ever and ever. And <clears throat> the more we expand, the more beautiful the universe becomes, the more joyful and grateful we become, the more like loving and patient and kind we become. It's sort of beautiful how that works. It, it just happens, you know, and I love that so much. I am absolutely going to be inviting more star events, more miracles into my life. I'm absolutely going to say to my totality, the powers that be and whoever everybody else is listening, I am super happy to be proved wrong or that something that I did was completely irrelevant in hindsight. I don't care. I want that awesome grace of, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that happened to me. When in brackets, I don't deserve it. I haven't done anything for it. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's just, you know, it's just one of those things that miracles do happen to us. They have already happened. Many, many, many miracles on many, many topics. And so I invite us super strongly to connect and focus in on the miracles that have already happened. And this gives us step stones into the future. And these step stones are not just sort of little step stones in the water across a river. They are actually more like ripples when, a, when you throw a stone into the pond. They're becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and as i said the most wonderful thing is the laws of nature change when your world expands in the old world it may have been a law of nature that you will never find love and that is true in that old world or the law of nature may have been that you will never be financially successful An absolute law of nature that holds as firm as gravity holds and the apple falls on Isaac Newton's head. There is no way this is ever going to change. This is preordained, it's karma, all the rest of it. 
So I invite you to scan your world for its laws of nature. People used to call those beliefs, but I don't think that's strong enough. It is a law of nature. And even though you can change a person's belief for a little time, if in the entire world in which they live, this is a law of nature, nothing will change. I can attest to this. I've tried. I've tried with the belief changing. It doesn't work. You need a star event. You need a miracle expansion. And here I would really like to give a big thank you to Positive Energy Tapping for having given us the gift of tapping on a miracle. It came about because when we started working with positives and asked people, okay, so your problem is that you don't get on with your mother-in-law. What kind of positive do you need to help you in this situation? And persons would say, there is nothing, nothing that could stop me from hating my mother-in-law. There's nothing that could change that situation. The mutual hatred between me and my mother-in-law is a law of nature and nothing on earth, nothing could shift that. And that's where my aspects had the idea to say to these people, well, I guess it would take a miracle. And people would go, huh? And then it, sometimes they'd start to laugh a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would take a miracle. That would absolutely take a miracle. And then we would tap on it. And then ask again afterwards. Energy is higher, energy is different. Something's happened in that person's mind when we started saying, well, there's always a miracle. Just even the idea of a miracle, something that's out of this world, something strange that we don't understand that could happen to us, it makes this little portal, this little doorway, out of the world in which people are stuck and where certain things are completely impossible. So this is the core reason why we really have now in the GOE the miracle expansion. Because by tapping with so many people and so often on, well, that would take a miracle. There's no positive I can think of. It would absolutely take a miracle. And tapping that first, that I guess I got used to it, I connected with it, and I started to think about it. The miracle had come back into my world. And as soon as the miracle does that, you've got this portal out of the old world in which you were stuck and into a bigger world where there are different laws of nature. And then we get to explore those and find out what they are and learn about them and make connections. Go, oh, now that makes sense and that makes sense. It's the most wonderful thing. So that is, in short, the miracle expansion. I hope you are loving the concept of miracles being personal absolutely personal and the result of a star event an energy evolution in the energy body that makes it bigger and as it makes it bigger our worlds expand and now there's these possibilities that weren't there before now energy healing makes sense it's not just a whisper or something stupid an old wife tale anymore now we can actually heal the energy body. Oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, and there's a world with miracles are easy. That's the world that I wanted to expand into with this concept, with the ideas, with this conference, with 
with everything that we do to make this world expansion a reality, a priority, understand how it works, get a different concept of our energy bodies and how they function, what they are. Raising those glorious wings, that is a reference to something that is really happening in the energy system, fountains, great vortices, galaxies of energy at our shoulders. And of course, there's the crown of lights that goes right with it. It's the most wonderful thing. So this is what I wanted to start us off with. The miracle expansion is what we are seeking. And these miracle expansions happen through star events. They don't happen in any other way. There's nothing else that will cause an expansion like that in the energy system than a star event. So now what we're trying to learn more about is how we get to have more star events. What we need to do to make it so. Because I really do believe that we can expedite this. In one of the older little worlds, the idea that you get one miracle in a lifetime and then, then you should be grateful and that's more than you deserve. That may be a law of nature there. But the more you expand out, the more you expand out, the more you expand out, the more you start to realize, wait a minute, miracles? Stones on a beach? Grains of sand in a great desert? Stars in the starry skies? Each one an unfolding galaxy in a universe filled with galaxies? Yes. Yes, we can have more miracles. We can have more star events. Absolutely, 100%. I'm convinced of this. And so, at this conference, with these presentations that are to come, which are absolutely wonderful, and they are insights into each person's, each presenter's worlds, and what they have learned, what they have discovered about this, the star events that got them where they were. Each one of those is an opportunity for us to find something that really fascinates you. That I, this is, I believe, the tuning mechanism for our incarnations, our fascinations. Something that where you go, ooh, that's fascinating. I want to know more about that. That forward pointing attention. Now, you know, call that ears up and the tail is starting to wag. Because I used to be a dog obedience instructor. The, that sort of energy of, ooh, that I want to learn more about. That's in the right direction. I can sense this tingling excitement. This is going to take me to my next star event. This is the right direction. Our internal sixth sense compass that guides us through our incarnation that we can use to move forward to the next star event on the road to the next miracle. Manifesting in your life, expanding your world, changing the laws of nature for you that now there are possibilities that simply weren't there before. In that sense, I hope you're going to enjoy GOE 2021 as much as I have, speaking to all those, all our wonderful people, energists around the world, and that you are one of them. And please, I'd like you to know that I could absolutely have had an interview with every single one of you, and it would have been fascinating. It would have been absolutely fascinating to hear your experiences with energy, your thoughts, your applications, 
the things that you have developed in your life. And that's also, for me, one of the absolute blessings of being a modern energist. We need to share our star stories, we need to share our lived experience, because that is, well, the most important data to understand people. And when you start to understand people, you unlock the entire universe. Of course you do. Right, I hope you have enjoyed this. I'm now going to hand over to my aspects and the wonderful, wonderful people who've got such fascinating things and energy experiences to share. And pay good attention to your sixth sense. What makes your spider sense tingle? What catches your fascination? That'll be your guide to your next miracle. Lots of love and let's get started. <laughs>